This is Staccato from the Second Street Dreams Audio Network. I'm Jude Lynn Gibson. This week, I have a note dotting the classical music landscape. Music might be best with your medication. What if your doctor suggested that it will improve whatever ails you if you take your medication while listening to, say, Beethoven's Fifth? So I focus on the, the mechanism of action of drugs, how drugs cause side effects, how drugs interact with other drugs. Dr. Tony Kang of the Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences at the University of Alberta in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So my, my family is very musical. My, my wife is a, a music teacher. Uh, she has a master's degree uh, in music. My daughter plays uh, uh, piano and cello in the RCM program in Canada. I'm constantly exposed to music uh, as a background in, in my family uh, at home. So, so it just, it just uh, dawned on me that, uh, you know, music is ubiquitous. You hear it everywhere. And we already know that music has um, beneficial effects. Music can affect levels of hormone uh, in the body. He believes music can and will enhance the effects of your medication. I like listening to music, and I, I know that certain types of music uh, will give me a certain emotional response. So I, I know the effects of music on um, human physiology is very real, and I just haven't seen any you know, research done on how they, these affect um, medication, which is uh, my expertise. As you can imagine, this is a monumental task, considering all of the variables, the patient, their ailments, the music they like, and the medications they're taking. So we're going to test, you know, tempo, fast or slow. Uh, we're going to test by rhythm, uh, regular, consistent versus irregular. Uh, we're also going to test genre. So in this case, uh, classical music, for example, Symphony Number no. 5 uh, by Beethoven, versus com contemporary music. Um, we're gonna test harmony. So here, um, you know, like uh, tonal versus atonal uh, and, and uh, dynamics. Um, so uh, very loud music and soft music. Dr. Kang won't have any answers anytime soon, but he is envisioning a future of personalized medicine. Your doctor or your pharmacist will recommend a specific medication for the specific patient. But in the future, that prescription puts, uh, there could be an additional line to that prescription saying, oh, okay, in addition to this medication, please also listen to, you know, Beethoven Symphony Number no. 5 once a day for seven days. And we expect that will improve the effects of the medication and potentially minimize the side effects of the medication. Find the links to Dr. Tony Kang's research on the Staccato page on secondstreetdreams.com. That's Staccato. I'm Jutland Gibson on the Second Street Dreams Audio Network.